Hey family, hope you guys are having a great day. Listen, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys for a moment. My thoughts may be a little all over the place um, because I don't know, I've just been stirring on this this morning and so I just wanted to talk to you guys for a moment. Um, so Chrissy um, had put out a video the other day um, basically about um, sorry guys um, basically about um, growing in Christ and you know holiness and things like that and she really just felt like the Lord was speaking to her um, about it and um, ever since I watched that video I feel like and I've been talking to her this morning like I said, mind you guys, please just bear with me because my thoughts are a little all over the place. Um, didn't really, you know, think about what I was going to say before I got on here. But I was talking to Chrissy and I feel like ever since I had watched her video, um, I feel like the Holy Spirit has just been tugging at my heart to go ahead and, and move this channel forward. And what I mean by that is I think... Um, I have gotten the point across to you guys how you become saved. The gospel is very simple that a child can understand it. Um, how we become saved is our is believing on Christ, believing what He did on the cross. Um, you know, for it is with the heart man believes. It's it's about believing. Uh, you know, putting your full trust and faith in what God did on the cross for your sins. Uh, the death, burial, and resurrection. And so I do believe that the, that the moment uh, that you, you know, believe in Christ, you are saved and sealed. Um, and you become born again. You receive the Holy Spirit. So I've made it very, very clear um, how to become saved. But now I feel like God has put it in my heart. Okay, Chelsea, you've made it very clear um, how to become saved. You've made it very clear to your followers or your subscribers, um, or my people, that you can't lose your salvation. A born-again Christian cannot lose their salvation. Now, lead my people and teach my people how to live. And I truly, truly feel like um, he is, is uh, guiding me, um, basically, to just keep pushing my channel forward. Now, I don't want anybody to think that picking up your cross and walking daily uh, or picking up your cross and, and, and you know daily and uh, being as holy as you can and, and you know trying to walk that walk and grow within the Lord um, and to hear the Holy Spirit more you know there are no works that we can do that can save us we are saved and sealed when we believe on Christ um, so there's nothing that you can do that can make you lose your salvation. There's nothing that you can do to, you know, uh, obtain it or keep it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was already finished on the cross. So that's, I mean, Christ died for our sins because he knew we, we couldn't save ourselves. So there's no works that we can do on our own. But I feel like, you know, I've made it very clear how to become saved. Um, you know, that you can't, a true born-again Christian cannot lose their salvation. But I think, like, also I... I strive for holiness. I want to walk holy. I want to pick up my cross and walk daily. I want to dive deep into the Bible, into the Word of God, uh, and, and eat, sleep, and breathe it. Um, I want to draw closer to the Holy Spirit and to be able to hear Him and have conversations with Him almost. You know what I mean? So There have been some people who ask me, how I hear from the Holy Spirit. No, I do not. I've never heard him audibly. Um, it's kind of like this, this, it's like in your gut, in your soul, you just, you just know when he's speaking to you. Um, it's not audibly. I can't really describe it, but people who hear from the Holy Spirit know what I'm talking about. Um, so just to answer that question to anybody or for the people that have been asking me that, but you know, I, I want to hear him more. I want to be able to, you know what I'm saying? And the only way that you can do that is first you got to start in the Word because the Bible is not just a it's not just a history book 
the Bible is alive. The words are breathing. They're alive because God is, is alive. Jesus is alive. And so, man, that's just where it all starts is in the Bible. And I just feel like God is, is telling me to go ahead and just move my channel forward. You know, I've already talked about, I've already pressed upon this doctrine. Um, but man, I, I do believe that we should be picking up our crosses and walking daily um, as Christ would. And, and I, 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 don't, I don't like sin. I hate sin. Um, and so I just don't want people to think that I've been saying, because like, I, I want to go ahead. Sorry, I know my thoughts are all over the place, but I do want to mention this because I absolutely love Pastor Tim Henderson. This is a shout out for you, Tim, um, because I know that your heart is right, and I know you're a true born again believer. Um, and I, I think people um, just don't get where he's coming from. Pastor Tim Henderson is not saying, "Hey, man, and you know, like I know you're a sinner, you're not, you're not saved, but hey, go ahead and just say this prayer. You don't got to mean it or anything. Just say the prayer real quick, and you're good. Like you can go back to live however you want to live. Like go, you know what I'm saying? Like go go back and do whatever you were doing. Just say this prayer, and you're good. That's not what he's trying to say. He's preaching the true gospel because. It is about believing. Now, what somebody chooses to do with it is up to them. Somebody can say the prayer all they want and not mean it. That doesn't make them saved. Um, so it's when, and it's not even about saying the prayer. Like, yes, you should confess with your mouth. But when when that moment happens in your heart and you truly believe He is who He says that He is, you are saved. So. He's just giving you what what the gospel says. You know what I'm saying? He's not trying to just like, hey, hey man, say this prayer, you're good. And actually, you know, when somebody does say the prayer and they believe it in their heart, they are good. <laughs> so I just wanted to, because man, people have just really been railing against Pastor Tim. But he is bringing you the gospel for what it is and so many people try to complicate it now what I'm trying to just basically tell you guys though is that I just feel like God is now trying to he's he he's wanting me to push this channel forward and go ahead and, and, and teach people um, how to live because there are a lot of people that become born again, but they still are just living so miserably because they're not feeding the their, their spirit they're not pressing forward. They're not learning more about Christ. They're not drawing closer to Him. They're not praying enough. They're not... And none of these things save you, but don't you want to unlock everything that Christ has for you? Don't you want to, you know, just like dive head in and, and, and get everything out that God's ha God has for you and for your life? Don't you want to hear Him on such a personal... Like, don't you just want to hear Him... Um, and know that it's him. There's a lot of people that are born again that are still, you know, wondering like, you know, if they're saved or if, man, you should wake up every single day and know that you are saved and to know that you are a child of God. And, um, and so I just, uh, just feel like that was on my heart and, 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 uh, you know, I, I, I hope you guys, like I said, appreciate my honesty and my, um, cause I try to be genuine with you guys. You know, I have problems. I, uh, I'm going through a season right now where I'm having a hard time opening up the word of God and the enemy's trying to get me right there. And, um, I think the problem has been that I've been, um, I had a really good Bible. And when I moved to the town that I'm in now, I lost that Bible. It was one that my mom had gotten me. And so I had been using the Bible app on my phone, but that, that's not working for me and so I'm in the process of go ahead uh, or I'm, I'm ordering one online so I think I really need a book in front of me um, because man I'm just ready to you know I've come so far and I'm ready to just keep you know I'm, I'm, I'm ready to keep pushing forward and I just want to keep unlocking everything that God has for me and I just want to keep drawing closer and closer and closer um, you know, and so that that doesn't mean that I'm going to achieve, um, you know, 
perfection. I'm never going to be perfect because we're still sinners in need of a savior. You know, we're still in these sinful bodies, but I just, I feel like it's, it's time for a new season in my life and with this channel on, I hope you guys, um, stick around because I think we can all say that we all need to keep growing in Christ. So, you know, I just, um, wanted to get that off my chest. You know, it's been, it's been pressing on me and, um, people need to be just more on fire for God. Like, you know, people just, <sighs> Jesus, when Jesus was in the crowd of like tons of other people, you know, you, you would be able to, you'd be able to depict him out of that crowd. You would be able to say, you know, wow, he's different. You know, Jesus doesn't blend in with the crowd. Jesus is not sitting there laughing and, and mocking with other, with other people. Jesus is, is different, and I want to be somebody who is in a crowd, and somebody can pinpoint me out because, you know, um, I just have this burning desire for God and on fire for God, and I think that we all need to strive to be that way and be Christ-like and do things and just walk on this earth like Christ would. Um, and so, yeah, I just I just wanted to... Just to talk to you guys, I guess, about this today. Um, I think it really, you know, starts in the Word. I know there's a lot of people out there who don't like to read. Um, but guys, the, the Bible is living and it's breathing because God, Jesus is alive. And if you want to hear from Him more, if you want to um, grow deeper and, and really unlock what God has for you, it really starts in the Word. Um, it's about having a relationship with him and it's just about feeding the spirit and the more you draw close to him and in the word and praying to him and obeying him the more that you'll hear from him the more he'll draw closer to you and then all these things will start making sense what people have told you because it's hard to understand what people are you know saying when you're just not there. So there is a way to get there. Just don't make it harder than it has to be. Just keep drawing close to him. And I just basically just wanted to tell you just my thoughts um, today and where I want to see this channel go. Um, I think we, we should all be striving for, for holiness. I think we should pick up our cross and walk daily. Those things don't save us, but man, how much how much easier life would be and how much more satisfying it would be if we all could just you know get this burning desire within our hearts and our souls and just on fire for God and and living and doing what he wants us to be doing you know what I mean because life is so much more than just believing the gospel you know what I'm saying so hope you guys are ready to take this journey with me it's gonna be an awesome one I'm telling you <laughs> let's just keep burning and um, and just growing in God before he comes back. Time is short, you know, so let's, let, let's use it wisely. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Talk to you later.